name is Alan Fuller and I own Vintner's Winery of Bismarck. I always made wine at home, just it was a hobby for me and I turned a hobby into a business. There was a Vintner's Winery in Fargo and we made wine there for my daughter's wedding and that's when we decided that we could possibly make a pretty solid stab at it to make a viable business out of it. There were a couple of obstacles that we had to get taken care of. There was only what they called a farm winery license at that time. But if people couldn't come in and take it home when they tasted it, I knew it was going to be a very difficult sell. At that time, I believe there were six registered wineries in North Dakota, and we all went to the state and we helped draft some of the verbiage so that we could sell wine by the bottle out of our winery, and we did that together. It was a little bit discouraging at times. They put some things in the law that, that requires us to use 51% has to be derived from something from North Dakota. And at that point, there were no grapes for sale in North Dakota, so we were forced to go after things like rhubarb, choke cherry. But now we're starting to work with grapes because there are start, starting to be some grapes available. So we've all gotten very good at what we do. The people in North Dakota is what makes North Dakota different. They're willing to sit down and listen to somebody that has a new idea and try to grow that idea into something. And that's, that starts where the fruit is growing all the way to the banker. I mean, North Dakota is paving the way right now, to be honest with you, as far as, as wineries. But there are some states that this, this business model will not work in. My name is Alan Fuller and I make great wine for North Dakota. <laughs>